Americans do well with elementary school level questions such as, what is the name of the President of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? And who was the first president? However, of greater material importance are questions about the U.S. Constitution, legal and political structures of the American Constitutional Republic, and basic facts related to current political life and key political decision makers. When the Center for the Study of the American Dream conducted a survey of native U.S.-born citizens, they found 85% did not know the meaning of the rule of law. 75% were not able to correctly answer what does the judiciary branch do? And 71% were unable to identify the Constitution as the supreme law of the land. Clearly, our nation is suffering from an epidemic of civic illiteracy. In a democratic society, if you want to continue to have choices, if you want to continue to have rights, if you want to continue to exercise what was built into our system, which are checks and balances, then the people, the population, particularly our youth, need to understand that that is what they were given. And if you don't understand that that is what you were given, historically, as your birthright, then you have a chance of losing that. Civics education is about teaching the content of civics, American government, the judicial system, the electoral process, the Constitution, Bill of Rights, as well as modeling what a democratic process looks like for our students. Addressing the need for civics education in the classroom revisits the original mission of public schooling as the vehicle through which America's youth are prepared for a participatory form of citizenship by acquiring civic knowledge and skills. Students who are not teaching in American schools will apply what they are learning in this course in the context of their current teaching assignments. The principles that we discuss will apply to teaching in all democratic societies. Those teaching abroad in non-democratic societies discuss, analyze, and apply civics education in the context of their current teaching assignment. Civics specifically hones in on what is your duty, your rights, your obligations as a citizen, in this case of the United States. How does that work? How are your rights protected? What are your rights? What is this thing called due process? What's the Constitution? What are Bill of Rights? And what's happened is our students don't understand how they are related to this thing called democracy. The purpose of this course, Civics Education, is to align the content knowledge with a repertoire of pedagogical practices responsive to the needs and interests of students in order to achieve the development of an informed citizenry in a democratic society and concern for individuals to assume civic responsibilities for self and others. If you think about just this last election, if we were to do a research study on how many people actually understood what they were voting for, did they really understand what was on the ballot? I would say highly unlikely. And part of the issue that goes back to the literacy issue of being able to understand what you are voting for. Civics education is also tied to literacy education. Students will need strong literacy skills to understand the rights they have. When they go to vote, they will need to understand what they are voting for. Literacy is a critical issue in civics education. This course offers a solution to our nation's civic illiteracy by addressing the need for civics education in the classroom and following our nation's original mission of public schooling as the vehicle through which America's youth are prepared for a participatory form of citizenship by acquiring civic knowledge and skills. My belief is we have to start in our schools. We have to start this from the ground up. We have to realize that if we want to hold on and to nurture what we have created so far in terms of our government and in terms of our rights and our freedoms in this country, we have to educate our population to understand what their responsibility is.